Alright, what's good everybody? Okay, so today TMZ released a uh, article about Takashi 6 9 and I'm gonna go over it real quick. So, <clears throat> basically, three of his associates got slapped with federal indictments, and uh, so, uh, law enforcement sources are telling TMZ that Takashi dropped the dime on one of them for the Chief Keefe shooting, Okay. So law enforcement uh, sources tell TMZ that uh, Kintia, or, or, or I guess that's his name, Kintia, Kinti, Kinti, McKenzie, uh, Anthony Ellison, and Denard Butler all have been indicted in connection with the crimes related to Takashi. More specifically, we're told McKenzie, a.k.a. Kuda B., was indicted right after Takashi spoke with investigators and pinned him as the trigger man at the Keefe uh, shooting last June in Times Square. So they're saying that Takashi has been a snitch or has been snitching since June of last year, okay? Uh, McKenzie was allegedly paid 10K to shoot Chief Keefe. Uh, they opened fire, but they missed. Um, uh, authorities have not apprehended uh, McKenzie. Ellison is already in custody for allegedly kidnapping and assaulting Takashi. So great friend you got there. And then Butler was busted by the ATF alcohol, tobacco, firearms on Wednesday. Uh, Ellison and Butler are expected to appear in court later this afternoon. The U.S. attorney um, declined comment on Takashi's cooperation. They declined his comment, but they're sitting here saying in the article that it was him that dropped the dime. Okay? And then it says, as previously reported, the feds have been looking into whether Takashi ordered the hit after he peered to dime himself on out on a video uh, you know, everybody's seen that video where he's like, you know, yo, I got 30 racks on. It was either Chief Keefe or Chief Keefe's brother or something like that. Um, but so they're still uh, looking into that. You know what I mean? Like, all you got to do is watch the TMZ video and pretty much the deal's closed right there. So, uh, you know, I don't know. But anyways, so here's one thing I'm going to say. So Takashi, he did get moved to... Um, the safer jail and that jail is known for holding uh uh criminals that are cooperating um with the feds or or with law enforcement or, or whatever but the other thing is this too is you i mean why would okay so here's the thing too here's the thing too why would why would this be released do you know what i mean like they're okay so they picked up uh you know the other guys or whatever okay cool but why why the takashi dropped the dime part do you know what i mean so it's like it's almost it's and here's the thing too takashi has no uh he can't just come on you know and, and be like hey guys you know i didn't do that or he there's no way of defending himself basically do you know what i'm saying so basically he's isolated himself against everything and you know, the, the, you know, the law enforcement's not stupid. They played this game 50 billion times. They've written the book. They've written the book. They've written the cliff notes. They've written the whole, they've written the whole library about it. So they know how to play the game. They know how to slow play things. They know how to make it look like, like, um, you're bad. Yeah. Everybody's seen that scene in a movie where, they bring somebody in and they and they question him or whatever and then they're like what's going to happen now and they're like well we're just going to let you go and they're in you know they're always like what do you mean they're just going to let me go we're going to let you go and the guy you know and, and it's always like well you know you you know you're just going to let me go and they're like yeah because when your buddies know that we just let you go they think that you're going to tell us something. they think that you would have already told us something so that's just what they're going to think because we let you go. We didn't we didn't grab you on anything. So everybody's seen that scene or some scene similar to it in a movie. So they know how to play the game. 
and they know how to slow play this. And like, you know, like the attorney, the the bail hearing, which I think was all BS anyways, they turned down a million point seven. Why are they going to accept a million point five? Plus, he has to stay off Instagram. I mean, it's just so ridiculous. But anyways, and now uh, Shadi has got El Chapo's lawyer. <laughs> I mean, dude. So anyways, I, the Takashi be it of its uh, of his own volition or you know maybe he did all this stuff to himself and maybe this is just the way it's unfolding or or whatever the situation is but if he was cooperating since june and he was he was you know working with them or whatever why would you why would you tilt your hand unless you were trying to put more pressure on him you know what i'm saying why would you let why would you let anybody know that you know what I mean? And it's this, and you know what? And uh, it, I think back to that, uh, the Breakfast Club thing that started this whole deal. And it's like, you know, if to, you know, the, if you look at the 48 Laws of Power, the third rule is never, always conceal your intentions. So it's like, if Takashi just said, you know, hey, you know, I'm, you know, everything's cool, blah, 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 and not mentioned anything, you know, just kept his, his mouth shut about what was going on, that he wasn't, you know, distancing himself and all this other crap, and just did it on his own, didn't say it verbally, that, you know, that wouldn't have gotten things, uh, you know, that wouldn't have got, you know, the phone calls where, you know, they're getting getting together to possibly take him down, and then that wouldn't have got the feds who were tapping the wires to, you know, get involved, and all of a sudden we got to take Takashi in because we're, we're feared for his life and all this other stuff. So... If if goes back to if if Takashi never said anything, who knows where this would have been? Did Takashi really dime these? You know, say this back in June? Maybe, maybe. Who knows? I mean, the, the they could leak any kind of information that they want. Um, and how are you going to refute it? And then the other thing is this too. It's like his attorney. Takashi's attorney, Lance Lazaro, anything that comes up like this, he should be defending immediately. You know what I mean? Be it a post conference, uh, you know, Skype, whatever. He should be saying, hey, this is, you know, nonsense. My client never did that, or whatever the situation. I mean, if that's the case. If that's not the case, and then there's something else going on, who knows? But I'm just saying there's, there's so many angles to this that you really don't know and then on the whole flip side of all of that other stuff honestly like you know put it this way he's 21 years old he's looking at the rest of his life potentially in jail he's you know he's 150 pounds soaking wet and he, you know what i mean and he's five seven you know what i'm saying like and you know what i mean it's like he, he might do anything, you know, and, and nobody would blame him to, to get out of the situation that he's in. So anyways, short and sweet on this video. I hope that made sense. I hope you guys realize that there's just so many angles and just so many things that could happen. And my whole point is this. If he's telling them information, why are they releasing that and letting like it's almost like they're giving ammo to the other side if he's given them all this information, why not just keep keep that you know keep that as your secret? Why would you release that? Like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, he's also snitched out, you know, this guy and this guy. You know, why would you say that? Unless you're trying to put pressure on Takashi to really to 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 tell everything because you've got no more options now. And then if you systematically look, Takashi's got no friends. Okay. He's got no woman anymore because, you know, him and his woman are gone. He really didn't have much family to begin with. And he, you know, before he went in, he made enemies with basically the world. So you're looking at a guy that is literally, other than his attorneys and, you know, maybe Jade, if she's still around, I don't know. That's, that's all the guy's got. So, you know what I mean? You're looking at a, you're, you're looking at a guy that you know they they can just 
manipulate, maneuver, pressure, squeeze, and, and kind of do, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know, man. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyways, this is why you don't do dumb shit. This is why you do not get involved in these situations. And I guarantee you, I've said this before, I'll say it again, Takashi, anybody, I don't care if Takashi had a, a $200 million, he'd give it all away to get out of this situation. Just to be a free man with nothing in his pockets. And all this, if this, he could snap his fingers and be dead broke and all this go away, he would do it in a heartbeat. So, y'all be cool. Take care of yourselves. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Have a great day. And just keep your nose clean. I'm out of here. Peace.